So in general, we think about health as a often as like a biological thing, like it's something that's just happening to your body. But as you said, pain and all health is actually biopsychosocial. Mm -hmm. So what that means is, again, we tend to believe that pain lives exclusively in our body. Your back hurts, you go to the back doctor, you have procedures and medications to help your back. What science tells us is that that actually is not true. Pain does not live exclusively in your back. Pain is not purely a biological problem. One reason we know this is because of this thing called phantom limb pain. Do tell. I'm going to tell. Phantom limb pain is this condition where an accident survivor or a trauma victim loses a limb, like an arm or a leg, and they continue to have terrible pain in the missing body part. So you can have no leg and continue to have terrible leg pain. And what that tells us is pain must be constructed somewhere else, right? Because if pain were constructed in the leg, no leg should mean no pain. Mm. And the fact that you continue to have pain in a body part that isn't there means that pain is actually constructed by this part of the body called the brain. Mm -hmm. And the really cool thing about the brain is that it's comprised of all these different parts that are always working in unison, working together. So what we know about pain is there's no one single pain center in the brain. There's lots of parts of the brain that process pain. One of the parts of the brain that processes pain is your limbic system. Doctor, what is the limbic system? Uh, I'm on the spot. <laughs> the limbic system is our more primitive part of the brain that manages emotions you got and it. unconscious things and you got that sort it. of thing. I call it the, if we're gonna use this analogy, it's the elephant, the, oh, I actually locked my focus. It's the elephant, uh, this unconscious, huge, ancient part of our brain. Yeah, your limbic system, exactly right, is your brain's emotion center. Mm. So what that means about pain, according to neuroscience, is that pain is both physical and emotional 100% of the time. And I'm gonna say that again, because it's so important. All pain that you have in your body that you think of as physical pain is also emotional 100% of the time. So the emotions you feel affect the sensations in your body, always. If you're stressed or anxious, or if you're depressed, or if you're angry, or if you've experienced trauma, your pain is going to be amplified.